So I'd like to invite up onto the stage um, Sarah Sangster, who's our next speaker. She is probably one of the best organic um, social media experts that I know, and we're very lucky to have her up here on stage. And she's going to be talking through how you can actually stop the scroll on your Facebook um, and social media channels. So please give her a very warm IGB welcome for Ms. Sarah Sangster. So you can hear me okay? Is it on? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, cool. So, let me just flick this over. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to get the slides on and we'll get going. Oh, okay. Okay, so just with a quick show of hands, can you tell me who here is an operator and who is an affiliate? Just operator, cool, a few of you, and affiliates, obviously the rest of you, cool. And then in terms of the social that you currently are using, um, who does marketing in on Facebook? Quite a few of you. Uh, Instagram? A few less. Uh, Snapchat? Okay. Snapchat? No one? Okay. Uh, Twitter? Okay, a few more. Pinterest? Okay, one. Um, LinkedIn? No one. And YouTube? Okay, a few more. Okay. As we've just heard from Jake, there is a massive opportunity when it comes to using social media marketing when we are looking at growing our affiliate businesses and also for operators to create content. And content creation is the, the quickest way to get new followers and also get the best conversion. So what I'm going to do is go through today how to get to create um, content that you can get conversion for by using things like video and also going into the new messenger service within Facebook and also the other platforms as well, which is completely untouched at the moment because people don't really know enough about messenger services to get exposure. So what we go through with uh, in social is getting attention, then get an engagement. Oh, let's get the clickers to work. We want uh, engagement, get to conversions. We want to review the content to make sure it's working. And then when it is working, we then want to turn it into infinity content or as better known as evergreen, just to make sure that if it's working, you want to keep recycling that so you're not having to create new data all the time, new content all the time to get conversions. Okay? There are five reasons people buy. Uh, to save time, to save money or to make money, to address fears, to feel pleasure, and it helps to avoid pain. The two reasons that people will be um, looking to be an affiliate or to do stuff with you guys, so send traffic through the gaming industry, is to make money and to feel pleasure. So when you create your content, you need to keep those two things in mind. So to create entertainment, to get the pleasure, and then to show people how they can make money um, as well. So those are the two things that we'll be concentrating on. So when we think about attention, on social, what we need to do is we need to change people's emotional state. So as soon as we change someone's emotional state, so they're happy or excited or sad, that's when they make a reaction or they make a click on social, okay? So that's all we need to do by using the, the, the content. And the easiest way to do that and to stop the scroll is to use video. Now, most people feel uncomfortable with video because they feel like they've got to be in front of a camera. All video means on social is it's an MP4 file. As soon as it's an MP4 file, Facebook and other social platforms realize that it's video content. And therefore, when you put that up onto social, not only will you see, you stop the scroll because it's moving. So anything on social that's moving gets the biggest attention. And also you can see the number of people that are viewing the video. So not only wh whom, how many people are being reached by this content, but how many people are actually viewing it as well. So the metrics are huge on video. The three sizes of videos that people use on social is the new nine by six. So that's the full screen mobile size. The 16 by nine, which is the long, so you have to flip your camera around. And also the uh, 1080 by 1080, which is the Instagram size. If you use 1080 by 1080, it will be available at the best view on all platforms, okay? So always create in that size. 
When we talk about creation, we can use these types of applications. So Animato, uh, Clips is the blue one down the bottom, which is a, an, an Apple software. Canva, which is a creation for graphics, but we, they now do animation versions as well. And Wave, Animatron Wave is the new software. It's like Canva, but it's for video. Really, really easy to use and makes you create videos that absolutely stops the attention and gets people to convert. In your videos, you need to do two things. You need to entertain and you need to educate. Those are the things that people are looking for. So if you are doing stuff to, um, to for the pleasure side, then we're going to go for the entertainment factor. And for the making money, it's all about the education. Okay, So just bear that in mind. When you're creating any content, these are the two things that you need to, to think about. When you create your video, and most, the easiest platform for people to use is Facebook, one, you get the best metrics, and two, you get the best conversions because of the systems within Facebook. Facebook are looking to be a complete ecosystem. So if you keep within Facebook, create within Facebook, and convert within Facebook, you'll get the biggest and best, best conversions. When uploading stuff into Facebook you, as, as a video, you get these options. You can put your full description, you can put a title, and you can use tags. Now, this is the SEO within Facebook. So they have thousands and thousands of different tags you can use to get in front of the right audience. So that's what you'd use. The search bar where you'd put some description is also SEO searchable. And Facebook will rank higher than most people's websites on Google because of the amount of traffic that goes through it. So by having really good descriptions, you're going to increase your SEO rankings within Google as well. You then, as I said, add your title, add your tags. 85% of people uh, watch, um, are watching video without sound. So what are you going to do to create the, the transcription within your videos to get the best from your watchers? You can use um, rev.com for transcriptions. You can use the clip um, app that I spoke about earlier. Or you can transcribe via YouTube as well. You'll download an SRT file. And then you can re-upload that onto the platform. And it'll add transcription on the bottom, like subtitles on the bottom of your video. So make sure that you're doing those sorts of things. When we're talking about conversion, so when somebody's watched your video and you've made an emotional change and they have liked or loved or said angry or whatever it is, the reaction that they've made on Facebook, you then need to convert them. If you have a Facebook page of less than 100,000, you can use a convert from uh, post likes to page likes by using this application. Okay, So it tell you, tells you how many people have been reached, how many views that you've had, and then it'll tell you how many people have made a reaction. Now, as soon as there's more than three reactions on Facebook, it opens up the option to convert your post likes into page likes. By clicking on the, the like button, You'll have all of the people that have liked or made a reaction on your post, and you get the option to invite them to like your page. Okay? This is free, this is organic, social, and it's got a 30% conversion rate. Okay? So as soon as somebody's made a reaction on your page, you get the option to invite them to like your page. Most people pay huge amounts of money through pay per click, through Facebook, which I know is not available. Um, for gaming, so this is a way to grow your pages up to 100,000 by getting a reaction post happening. You click on the invite button, and then it tells you that they've been invited, so you can't do it again. As I said, 30% conversion. Um, you know, you can't run Facebook ads for that type of conversion at the moment. And as I said, it's up to 100,000 likes. Moving on to Messenger. Uh, Messenger is the next biggest thing when it comes to social. Mark Zuckerberg, um, Zuckerberg has said it's the only few things is popular than social networking. The four top platforms at the moment are bigger than any one social networking site. So if you're not doing Messenger marketing, it's a massive opportunity for you. People are really wise to email marketing. They're really wise to mobile marketing. And you can't, if you pixel somebody and you can't run ads against them, this is the next way that you can get conversions 
through getting um, you know, into their inboxes. Because people use messenger services just like they would use text sort of two or three years ago, the open rate on any of the any of these services is a 99% open rate. Most email opening rates is between 15 and 20%. So you can see by having a 99% open rate, you're getting in front of your audience really, really quickly. When somebody comments on your Facebook post, these three options become available now. You can like it, you can reply to it openly, or you can send them a message. As soon as you send them a message, they are involved in your messenger service on Facebook. So it's like capturing them within your email service. It's as simple as that. So all you actually have to do is have content that you make a reaction on and you get them to comment on, and then you can have them within your messenger service for free. Yeah, this is free organic social. You can use bots like ManyChat. ManyChat is the biggest bot there is for Facebook Messenger service. And it, from as little as £10 a month, you can run a full bot messenger service on Facebook. Bots are the way to make uh, instant reactions without you being involved. So it's a full automated service within the messenger service. Okay? And as I said, the open rates are 99%. Okay? I'm going to go straight into Q&A because I've got lots of, um, I know there's already lots of questions, um, and I'm going to go back through a lot of this because I know a lot of this is probably completely new to you, so if you've not heard of how to get stuff on page and how to get on social um, and Messenger, I just want to make sure that we get this all covered really well. Okay? Any questions all to start with? No questions. Yes. Can you uh, elaborate a little bit more on, on many chat? Many chat. What was? Yeah, it? sure. So uh, many chat is the is the bot. So when you've got somebody with inside your inside your messenger service or via your page. So say for instance you made a post on Facebook that was about um, you know about casinos and you're doing a really good viral post and you ask people to make a comment. As soon as they make the comment, you can get your bot to respond to them in a messenger service. So it's a way for you to be completely hands-off and automated without you having to go through and scroll through all your posts and make those reactions. So it is a, it is a bot that goes in and, and sc scrolls through your page and within your messenger service to get conversions. And the biggest way to get conversions is to do it via conversation. So you can start having a conversation without you being involved at all, and it's a, a robot doing it uh, on, on yours. So, you know, so really, really smart, intelligent stuff. Yeah. Um, this many chat bot. Um, can you send uh, messages to people that you don't have the contact information from, or is it only to people in your contacts? They have to make a reaction to you, so they either have to comment, and you have to invite them into your messenger service. So by them writing a comment, gives you the. Um, it's non-spammy, so you can, as soon as they make the comment, you can then co speak to them without them have asking for a approval to do that. So, so as soon as, as, soon as you've done that, so as soon as they make yeah. a comment, then the bots take over. Okay, yeah. thank you. So that's all you need to do to get them to make a comment, and then the bots come into play. Yeah. Yes. How do you go about advertising on like WhatsApp? How do you send messages to people? So you would build. So you take somebody's. Um, e so you take somebody's mobile number. So yeah. whether you do a, a, a lead capture page where you're going to ask for information. So say for instance, give you an example. If you was going to give away free credits for something, and in exchange you're going to take their mobile number, uh, email address. You know they could give you a duff one. So we don't really want to do that. But if you get their mobile number, as soon as you've got their mobile number, you can then send out the, all the details via the WhatsApp messenger. How do you do that as like a bolt? Because I, I don't know how you... In bolt, you use yeah. the bots. So you, oh, use, okay. you use bots like ManyChat to then send out mass messages via the messenger service. I'm sorry, uh, I, I saw that you had Facebook Messenger and also WhatsApp, but I didn't know what the other two yeah, were. Yeah, sure. So the other ones that we've got here, we've got WhatsApp, Messenger, WeChat and QQ. QQ is the, the biggest one in China. So if you're looking to get into a Chinese market, 
then uh, QQ is the one to go for. Um, but mes uh, WhatsApp and Messenger are both owned by fa Facebook, so they use exactly the same technology. So, you know, if you can get somebody on, on WhatsApp, you're going to get them on Messenger as well. So, you know, exactly the same situation. All right. Really good for operators too. If, you know, as Jake said, if operators are, are struggling to keep in contact with their affiliates, then using a messenger to do that is another great way. Also by using Facebook groups to, to get people together, to have communities of people, then using a combination of messenger and Facebook groups, you can have a real good community feel. So therefore you can get in contact with people more often uh, and get them using you rather than another operator as well. Yeah. Any other questions or anything you're not clear on what we've gone through? Yeah, sure. Uh, I am an, I am trying to become an affiliate. So this question okay. is uh, conversion. I mean, s s you say like um, you send, you get an emotion from content from people, right? Um, and then w what is in the mind of the people that they just like the product and go and click and get, they get involved by, by themselves, or you need to do a, li to do a little bit more, like call them and push them a little bit or, or what's next uh, after this? So when you've created the content, so you want to create content that is, say for instance, if you're an affiliate and you want to get more click-throughs, so you're going to do, do some video, you're going to do an example of what they're going to click through to use, so, but you're going to do it in such a way that it's going to be either be the education side or the entertainment side. So using one or the other, never both at the same time, and then they're going to click through. So the instant thing is you're going to give them a call to action to make the next step with you. If they like and you know or love or don't like what you're doing, they'll give you an instant reaction. People will give you a reaction without even thinking about it, and that's where you get conversions for your Facebook page. Getting click-throughs, just need, you just need to have good enough content with a call to action to send them to the next step. So that's what you do within your your creation. So whether the next step is to go to your site because you want traffic, which is the which is going to be the main thing for you guys, but also to be able to get them into a messenger service where they don't feel like they're going to go through somewhere and get, you know, going to get captured somewhere. Because messenger service is so new, it's not something that they're wise to. If your phone rings, you feel like you're going to get sold to if you don't know the number. If you get an email, you're waiting for the sales email. Messenger is such a new technology when it comes to selling within messenger that you can you really get hold of a, a completely new audience that aren't wise to the fact that it's a marketing. Because marketers ruin everything. You know, they've ruined, they've ruined email marketing, they've ruined website marketing, but they've not yet ruined Messenger. So get on it before it gets completely ruined and the consumer becomes really wise to it as well. Yeah. So then going through, if I pop back to, um, I'll just go back to the, the video. So when we're talking about creating video, um, using these types of, of apps, you can actually create video oh, directly from your from your phone, you don't have to use um, desktops, you don't have to use the Adobe Suites anymore. So you can create stuff, you could create stuff here just by being at this event, by doing some really cool videos, transcriptions, and just making it really fun to, to be involved in the business that you have. Okay? Any other questions? I've got a question. Yeah. I want to know where you think the opportunities are in social media for casino and sports books because all okay. that I currently see at the moment is a lot of push messaging for this bonus, this new game, that offer. Okay. So depending on where, what you're after, so if you're doing sports betting or casinos or bingo, um, pin, there's a massive opportunity on Pinterest at the moment. So by creating things like infographics, actually teaching people how to play games, how to get the best from bingo, how to get the most from being at a casino, looking at um, sports betting. You know, if you actually educate your audience, they're more likely to, um, to bet more and support a high stake. So using things like Pinterest, especially for the mums market. Now we know that most of the people that are in the industry are men, but there is a huge market for mums, stay at home mums that do stuff that can't get out anymore. That if, you, if they could play bingo at home or to do betting at home or be educated with sports betting, that's a really big market. And they hang out on Pinterest. They, that's where they are. So there's a huge market there. If you are looking to grow your audience for millennials, then Snapchat marketing is also huge. So if you don't know enough about Snapchat yet, 
um, start, you know, investigating that for millennials. So, yeah, there's a few areas that aren't being touched at all when it comes to this industry. So, and still on Facebook, there's still, there's huge opportunities on Facebook, but the, the, the biggest opportunities are Pinterest and Snapchat currently. So, at the moment, I mean, Paddy Power is all over Facebook. Yep. Um, and, you know, they do it really, really well, but they've got a very distinctive voice. So, do you think yep. that that's quite important in terms of, you know, affiliates maybe building their brands and getting their voice as well? And how do they define that? What, you know, what's the best way to actually differentiate themselves? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, really important to have a clear brand that doesn't, that doesn't just include logos and colors and all that sort of stuff, but a brand message. So, if you're going after the mum's market, then people like Paddy Power just aren't touching them because it's all about sports and it's all very uh, masculine audience. So if you know what your 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 um, avatar is, so if you've got a mum's 25 to 35, then speak to those people. Don't try and speak to them in a different language. So really get to know who your avatars are and be really clear on that as well because then you're going to get the most exposure. So branding is really good, but also branding towards your avatar is equally as important. And do you think, like, the approach of, um, you know, Red Bull never talks about their drink. They talk about everything else except their drink. Do you yeah. think that approach would work in social as well? And yeah, and it does, yeah. Content marketing. So if you say, for instance, if we take Paddy Power as an example, they, t they do things like interviews with sports people. They rarely ever actually ask for a sale. They ever ask for you to take the next step because they've got that covered. So as long as they keep educating you and entertaining you, you're automatically going to use them. And they're the first people that come to, come to your mind when you're going to be doing betting. So having the content out there that keeps it fresh in their mind and also the fact that you've not sold to them and you've educated them and entertained them is massively important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Any more questions from the audience? I'm going to be hanging around uh, for the next couple of hours. So if you do want to come speak to me, um, feel free. If you do want a copy of the slides from today, if you head over to uh, Facebook, uh, to my Facebook page, which is Thanks to Digital, and send me a message via Messenger uh, with the word Blueprint, then I'll send you the full slides for you to be able to get a full copy of. Um, yeah, and if you want to have a chat with me, then feel free. I'll be around for the rest of the day. Thank Sarah, you. Sarah, we've just been notified that we've oh. got some questions on Slido, oh, right. so we're yep. just going to put those up and then hopefully you can go through those cool. just to finish off the session. Um, most people don't really interact with casino content on social media. Can you share your approach that works in this vertical? Um, yep, so casino content, um, depending on what, you t what type of casino content it is, so if it is... Uh, slots and stuff, would that be right, Leanne? Which yeah, is slots, slots and stuff, okay? Casino games, yeah. Yeah, so you can have, so the best way to, to do the casino content is to mirror what they would do with inside the program that you're going to be sending them to. So by using GIFs to create um, things where you can stop, like you would like to replicate what the actual app or the program or the website you're sending them to, gives them a chance to try it out before they actually get committed to the site. So by you can just create awesome gifts um, and replicate that process. So would something like Sting's work in that instance where we could do, you know, the, either the turn style of the yeah. roulette table or the slot Yeah, any, any replication. So you can create those uh, in giphy.com. So it's G-I-P-H-Y.com. You can uh, totally replicate that. And they literally just click the screen and it would be a stop process. And then that's where they'd get the result from. Okay. Yeah. Is, is Twitter, Twitter dead? Uh, no, Twitter isn't dead. Um, Twitter is, uh, has a much younger market now. So the old Twitter is dead in terms of you follow me, I'll follow you back. That type of Twitter is dead. But to, to get exposure and to get keywords, that's where you'll get the most from Twitter. So just making sure you're using keywords and also getting to have conversation with people, that's where you'll get the biggest conversion on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Got a question? Hello. Hello. Um, let's say I make a post on Facebook uh, with uh, about 500 um, uh, reactions or likes. Uh, what do I have to do to automatically invite all these people instead of one by one? You can only do it, uh, at the moment, you can only do it one by one. It's the only way. It is the only way. Um, so no plugins, no on no, Chrome, nothing? No plugins. Um, it is a straightforward. It's something that Facebook don't particularly like you to do. So once you get to about 200 operations on that day, it's likely to stop you from doing any more.
but as soon as 12 to 24 hours has happened, you can start the process again. Um, I would outsource it to somebody that you pay a very little amount of money to just to be an operator to do only that job. But a 30% conversion rate, it's, a, you know, it's an absolute winner. Yeah. All right. Cool. Any more questions? Last, last round of questions. No? Cool. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Sarah, for joining us. Thank um, you. Hope you found that useful.